start with how did you come up with the title of the EP? I came up with the title of the EP based on <clears throat> the second song on the EP. I felt like that song pretty much embodied the whole vibe of what I wanted the EP to be about. So I just named the EP after that song. And the cover art is actually really cool. Where did you get the idea from the cover art? So I got that idea on the whim while I was out shooting the promo video for the EP. We was on like, I guess you could call it a construction site. And it was those little big little cylinder things. So we got a shot from inside there. What was the process like of picking songs? As I was making these songs individually, I was realizing how they could go together on a body of work. Probably halfway through it, I was like, yeah, this is an EP. And I started making the songs in mind of an EP. I think Anomaly Outro was made before almost every song on there. How did you come up with like, the order of the songs? So I knew that Running Away was going to be the intro because it just felt right. Then that song goes right in the hide and seek, like musically. Like it just goes into it, like it, it just sounds right. I think it just felt right. What was your favorite song created? What was my favorite song? To I, create. To create, not my favorite song. No, that's created. a different question. That question's coming. But I want to start with, what was your favorite song created? So it, I think it's a tie between ET Mode and Control. That was the most fun to me. Because ET Mode, I freestyle most of the last verse. And I don't even freestyle, I'm, I'm a writer. Like I write, like I really write. So that was pretty fun. Control was overall fun because that was completely out of the normal. I, that was like a weird song. Got some rock influence. Definitely, of course, hip hop, because I'm a, I'm a hip hop artist. But that one was crazy. We know the words are obviously from you. How did you get the beat? They seem to mesh so well. I feel like I say this all the time, but then again, I feel like I don't say it enough. But every single beat that you probably ever hear me on, I made it from scratch. I make the beats as I make the lyrics. Well, I always start with the beat, for the most part. I always start with the beat. Like, just fiddling around, and if I hear something, and like in my mind as far as lyrics, I'll go and put it down. And then maybe that strikes another idea as far as the beat goes, but all my beats are made by me. 100%. So can you walk us kind of through a little bit through like the process and where you were in your head making control because that's not like nothing that we've heard from you before. Man, I was on angel time. You know how niggas be saying demon time? Mm -hmm. I was on angel time. <laughs> I don't know, man. Straight from God, man. I don't know. I It's, it's weird because I can't replicate these songs. Like, I could never do that again. Like, you know how people be, you know how it's a lot of artists that uh, a lot of their songs may sound very similar because that's their little style. All my songs, like, different. So I can't, I can't go and be like, yeah, let me go make a song like Control. It's gonna, it's gonna be a miserable fail. Like, it's gonna be terrible. It's just when you, we know you make the beats, but where do you record your music at? Like, where does all this magic take place? <laughs> Imagine. Mm -hmm. Um, I do all of it in my room. I set my run up room up to have space for recording. I even have a freaking, I guess you could call it a booth. So I got two clubs in my room and one of them I use for a booth and I record in my room. This is where everything takes place. What is Elijah Thomas favorite song on the EP? Hmm. I'ma have to go with hide and seek. That's probably nobody's favorite song but mine. But that one was like very transparent. Control was too, and Control could be the best song on the EP. But I think Hide and Seek is my favorite. All right, let's play this game. Guess what the star song is? The star song on my EP, right this second, is probably Get Up. Get Up is correct. Has the star song stayed consistent? Have they switched? So at one point, I think when I when I first dropped the EP, Get Up was definitely the the star song. <clears throat> and then out of nowhere, Control became the, the, the star song on the EP. And even though Get Up is the star song right now, Control laps every other song on the EP by at least three times. Surprised that Get Up is the star song right now? Hell no, I feel like everybody, I feel like that was the song that if I was like trying to please a plethora of people, I'ma just go to Get Up. Ooh, tough question. What's your least favorite song on the EP? My least favorite song on the EP is Get Up. Damn! Wow. It's just like, I don't know. I didn't even like it after I made it, but I know people like it. People, like, the beat is hard. You know, I rapped a little bit, but I didn't feel like it was 
I didn't feel like it changed the game of music. I don't feel like it had an effect on music itself. Neither does ET mode, I don't think. But I think Control and Hide and Seek do have that type of impact. So I just feel like Get Up doesn't show my potential. Was there other songs that was a consideration for the EP that you didn't include? Yeah, there's actually two other songs. I forgot about that until just now. Like for real. It was the song called OK and a song called ETOD. Oh? Yeah. Those didn't make it. ETOD didn't like make it because I I wasn't sure if I even thought it was presentable. The beat was maybe hard. I just didn't like the overall thing as much as I should to even put it out and give it to people. Thought I was. I even posted a vlog making that song on YouTube if people want to go watch it, but I'm not sure about that. And then, okay, we was listening to that the other day and I was listening to it and I was like, yo, this song is very hard, but I didn't put it on there because I said some things that I regret. What did you say? That's classified. Okay, so we know songs got left out. So did you pick six songs for any reason or did six songs just happen to be what you thought was presentable? I could have slapped any amount of songs because I have a lot of songs in my, I guess you call it my archive or my, my drive or whatever you want to call it. I have a lot of songs. Sometimes they come to mind and I be forgetting about them. And I could have stuffed a bunch of songs on the EP. But around that time, I had just so happened to be re in Matthew 6. And I felt like a lot of the principles from that lined up with some of the things that I was trying to convey in the EP. So I was only, I thought it was only right if I had six songs. It's kind of a little bit of significance to the uh, number six. So basically everything in the EP was on purpose. Yeah. And like, it was every, things that we wouldn't think about as a listener. Yeah. On like how every little, like how all these little things like matter. Yeah, all everything lines up, right? That's why I, I feel like it's so important for me to uh, pray before I record or, or even have my mind right when I'm recording because you kind of leave room for God to do his part too. But it's like, hear do stuff and then it'll line up and yeah, look and look at the whole body of work and be like, damn, when I was making that, I had no clue that that was going to line up with this and that was most of part. Yeah, so, did, you know what I'm saying? Did you know that was going to happen with Running Away and Hide and Seek? I had no clue that Running Away and Hide and Seek was going to blend so well together with their messages and how it, like, how Running Away cuts off and goes into it. I had no clue. So I also was wondering, like, do you have any people work with you on, like, the beat or the vocals or anything? I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but everything that was on that EP was 100% me, 100%. So it, the only thing that wasn't me was I had Ashley do the intro part and the outro part saying like, enjoy your journey and see y'all next time. That was the only part that wasn't me. Uh, but everything else from the, the most slight compressor what else did you do? I'm gonna get up. Oh, shoot. Oh, and I forgot about that. I'm gonna get up. Don't ever. You ain't get up, huh? Yes, I am. The vote on the hook? Yes, right? I'm gonna get up. How do you remember that? Because I know my hard work. I was, I'm was. gonna get up. Ah, damn, I forgot. I don't know. How do you remember that? Do you in anything else? I don't know, but I know for sure I'm gonna get up, and I know I'm in unreleased music too. What are you in? I sung something else before. Yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. But I'm in Get Up. My bad, bro. I'm hey. in a star song. I, oh, I'm shit. in a star song. Oh, man, that's crazy. Well, I'm glad you know, because I didn't. I was about to take full credit for that. <laughs> you did. You didn't mean it, bro. You yeah, didn't. I forgot. I forgot. You know, it's customary to ask this. What's next for E.T.? Honestly, <clears throat> what's next for me for sure is performing these songs, trying to get the word out, trying to build up more uh, hype about the EP, you know, building more awareness. That's really what's next. Obviously, I'm gonna be releasing stuff, hopefully before the summer is out, you know, singles and whatnot. But right now, we just focus on the EP. Alexa, play Hide and Seek by Elijah Thomas. Okay, Hide and Seek by Elijah Thomas from Apple Music. Hiding from the plane and picking up the pieces, no one else to blame. I need another reason to it for the fanny.